As Memphis prepares to lay Tyree Nichols to rest this week, there are growing calls for police reform all across the country. The Friday night release of police body cam video showing his brutal beating during a traffic stop prompted protests all throughout this weekend. CBS 2's Skylar Henry joins us live tonight from Memphis with the latest there. Skylar? Hey, Jessica, good evening to you. Well, we are right outside of the Mississippi Boulevard Christian Church, where the funeral for Tyree Nichols will be held this Wednesday. Community activists and leaders have been speaking out all day today, not only calling for a thorough investigation into Nichols' death, but a change in policing here in the city. He asked a question that has yet to be answered. What did I do? At this Memphis church, Sunday service in honor of Tyree Nichols was titled, What Did I Do? That's one question 29-year-old Nichols could be heard asking as he pleaded with police during the violent traffic stop that led to his death three days later. Police tactics need to change, you know, this is all across the board, you know. We all have to make sure the whole law enforcement accountable. Police body camera video of the encounter was released Friday night, sparking nationwide protests into the weekend. Say his name! The five officers were fired and now face second degree murder and other charges. If there are five different individuals acting that way, um, you have to wonder whether there's a problem of culture. Additionally, several sheriff's deputies and firefighters involved in the incident have been relieved of duty pending investigations as calls for further disciplinary measures continue. On Wednesday, the funeral service for Tyree Nichols will be held at this church after he was brutally beaten here in Memphis a little more than three weeks ago. There's a bill that's been sitting in Congress, the George Floyd Justice in Policing Act, that because of partisan politics has not been passed. In Washington Sunday, the Congressional Black Caucus said it wants to meet with President Biden this week to push for negotiations for reforms to the justice system. Now, the CBC went on to say that Nichols' death serves as a grim reminder that there is still very much a long way to go in terms of addressing the systemic police violence issue across the country. We're here in Memphis, Tennessee tonight. I'm Skylar Henry. Jessica, back to you. All right, Skylar, thank you for the update.